Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now today I'm going to be giving you guys an interesting video on an article that was released somewhat recently. I'm a little bit late on it. I know I was going to upload a video on this. The other day I actually had it all recorded, but I decided to reshoot it, turned it into something a little bit different. Just, well, not really different, more than just reporting on the news, but giving more of my thoughts on this because I was a little bit late. I ran out of time to do this. But, I mean, a lot of you may have heard, and I'm going to give my, you know, opinion on this. The Dragon Ball Evolution writer, Ben Ramsey, has apologized to fans about the work he had done on Dragon Ball Evolution. And this is coming from the Dao of Dragon Ball. Please check out that site in the link down below. Give them some support for this article. You know, also as well, this is coming from Derek Padula. And uh, the writer, Ben Ramsey, kind of wanted him to relay, uh, wanted Derek to kind of relay this information on, on his site. So Ben wants to say that he's sorry for the work that he's done on Dragon Ball Evolution. You know, that movie came out in like 2009, guys. Pretty long time ago, you know, seven years. But I'm not going to give you everything in the article. You should check it out yourself, but I'll put a couple quotes on that are keyly noted here on the article. Ben says, I knew that it would eventually come down to this one day. Dragon Ball Evolution marked a very painful creative point in my life. To have something with my name on it as a writer be so globally reveled is gut-wrenching. To receive hate mail from all over the world is heartbreaking. I spent so many years trying to deflect the blame, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to the written word on the page, and I take full responsibility for what was such a disappointment to so many fans. It was the best I could do, but at the end of the day, I dropped the Dragon Ball. He then goes on to say that he went into the project for a cash grab, you know, to get a big payday, and he didn't really have a lot of, you know, he did not know the franchise. He was doing it more of a businessman, and I'm going to leave it off at that. You guys should read the whole article down in the description. Please go check it out. Also, there's a place for you to express your own feelings about this uh, on the page, so please do that. Don't send him hate, because I'm going to tell you right now, I do respect what he's done, and some people may say, you know, oh, he's only saying this to maybe deflect the hate that he's getting. But at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, he goes on to say he's doing more stuff that he has passion for now. And I do respect that, you know, I don't know whether he's being honest or not. And I can't know. I just, you know, have my own respect to the man to go out and publicly say he's sorry. Uh, seven years down the line, you know, that's a very long time. And honestly, I'm coming from the perspective that Dragon Ball movies, I never really had a lot of faith to be good in live action. Uh, you know, he praises Light of Hope. So it's really interesting to see this. I do accept his apology. Um, I do respect that he came out and said this. Uh, I, I, I respect that he, you know, what he's saying. He's working on stuff that he's more passionate about, and that's where the real, that's where real um, good quality stuff tends to come out of is when you have a passion for something. If you're just writing something for a cash grab, like he did with Evolution, that's kind of how a lot of things will turn out. And I don't approve of his work with Dragon Ball Evolution, but, you know, he is definitely not all to blame for this. There's, you know, the director, there's the uh, casting directors, all sorts of places to put blame on special effects for sure. Uh, but there's a lot of problems with that movie, and it's not all down to him. There was really nobody in that whole team that really had a passion for Dragon Ball, it seemed. It really was just because it was a cash grab event and that's just you know something we have to accept as fans but at the end of the day honestly guys this guy comes out and apologizes you can either respect that or choose to ignore it or continue to hate him but i guess let me know down below guys do you accept the apology of the movie i'd like to see what you guys think of this do you accept it or do you not accept it and please put your thoughts down on the article listed below on the Tao of Dragon Ball and really share your thoughts because he wants to hear your thoughts. Derek wants to hear your thoughts, so go and share those, please. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know, I'm a, again, I'm a little bit late on this, but, um, you know, I had some stuff going on. So hopefully I added a little bit more than maybe what some other people said. I know a lot of people always, and I want to do a whole video maybe just talking about this like an inside DB, and I haven't done one of those in a while. Uh, a lot of people do get kind of, and, and, you know, maybe they don't like the word, but butthurt when people report on the same news. But the fact is that I give my own thoughts on it. If that kind of falls in line with what someone else thinks, that's fine. I have my own audience, so, you know, I can't prevent people from watching videos from me, from Dino, from Danny, from Mike. I can't, you know, I know we have the same fan base in a lot of ways, but 
I going to give my own thoughts? I want to report on the news that I want to report on, and I thought this was cool stuff, and I thought it was going to be a unique article, but then I saw that Danny did a video. Uh, I think Forneverworld did a video. I think Mike did. Mike might be doing a video on it. I'm not sure. Uh, a lot of people did the video. I thought no one was going to do a video on this, but I was late. But uh, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. This is time. Uh, if you didn't see it, I upload a playthrough. If you guys like videos like this where I talk about my honest opinion on things and all sorts of stuff, I have a second channel linked right down below. Uh, I talk about my honest opinion. I give life stories. So if you like that, check it out. That's my same, uh, shameless self-promotion for today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Share your thoughts down below and on the article, please. Uh, and I'll catch you later.